Well, hello guys, here Mr. Yig with another video. This time we're going to be working for the gray tent and I'm going to be leaving this question in the description below so you can answer before watching the video. This is going to be about heating a curve of water or a substance, right? And um, it is or it was the question two from November 2022 done in the Eastern Cape province, paper two. The question said the graph below show the heating curve of a pure substance under standard pressure. So here is the heating curve of that specific substance, right? Question 2.1, define the term a temperature. And what do we have to say? We have to say that a kinetic a temperature is the measure of the average kinetic energy of the particles in a substance. And if you say that, guys, you will get to mark. Very important here, average kinetic um, energy of the particles. That is the main thing here. Question 2.2, what is the boiling point of this substance? Now, if you come here, you can see, um, and I'm going to quickly write important things here. This here is a solid state of matter, all right? This here is going to be a liquid, liquid, and this one here is going to be a gas, different state for that specific substance, okay? Here at this point is going to be melting, melting, all right? And here is going to be evaporation. Those are the different processes that happen there. So this temperature here, at this specific point, is the melting point melting point, and this temperature here at this will be the boiling point. Boiling point. And that is actually what they ask you here. Now, what else I want to point out here, during melting, during that process here, the state of matter will be solid and liquid. So you will have at that point both states of matter. And during evaporation here, you will have liquid, and let's fix that word there, and gas. That is important things I wanted to point out. This question said, what is the boiling point of the substance? That one is 30 degrees Celsius, and that is what you have to answer here. It's 30 degrees Celsius, and if you say that, you will get one mark. During which time intervals will the force of attraction between the particles be at the weakest? Now, the weakest, forces will be always at gas, always at gas. And gas, guys, is starting at 30. So it's from 30 to 40. That is the question here. They say um, during which time intervals. So in this case, you have to say 30 to 40 minutes because the time is in minutes. And that is quite simple. You need to know that the forces are always the weakest in the um, gas state. You know what? Let's write it here, just for you. Weakest forces. Weakest forces is quite important. And then you'll get one mark for that. There's one mark for saying that. Question 2.3.2, during which time interval will the particle vibrate at a fixed position? And you need to know that particles only vibrate in the solid state. So it is going to be at the beginning. The particles here during the solid vibrate. Let's write it here. Vibrate, that is in terms of motion of the particle. So during which time interval? Okay, wait, is from zero to five minutes. So here is from zero to five minutes. And if you say that, you'll get one mark. Really easy for saying that. During which time intervals will the average kinetic energy of the particle remains the same? And that is quite easy. It is here in the graph, the one that is constant. This one here, kinetic energy 
take constant. I'm going to write constant during this process here kinetic energy state constant as well as in this process here the kinetic energy state constant so there are two intervals in which the kinetic energy was constant that is from 5 to 10 and from uh, 20 to 30 so you have to say it like that from 5 to 10 minutes as well as from we say 20 to 30 20 to 30 minutes there are two marks for saying that one mark for the 5 to 10 one mark for the 20 to 30 what is happening there actually all the energy is needed to break the intermolecular force so all energy I'm going to write here all energy was used yes, was used to break the intermolecular forces write it with what okay now they said here the final give a reason for you answering 2.3.3 and guys is that one we just um, answer that one there. let's write the complete explanation here at the bottom and then it's the end of the question and that is all you have to say you have to say during the phase change the heat is used to break the intermolecular forces to break the forces between the molecules which is exactly the same and therefore therefore the kinetic energy remains constant the average kinetic energy remains constant and that is the final mark there this is all about this question is quite important it is going to be at the end of the examination i hope you understand and i hope it helped uh, subscribe for the channel thumb up next time we're going to be working with this equation here in terms of isotope in terms of um relative atomic mass and so on it's a very good question as well you can see the electro configuration so don't miss that video but thank you for watching thumb up subscribe for the channel i'll see you next time mr g here